Well, tomorrow is National Cinema Day, which is a great chance to find cheap tickets to see some of the best films that are out right now. For sure. Ahead of that, though, we found this clip in the WNDU vault that showed one of our Chesterton lady who took her love for her favorite film to the next level. Welcome to the Land of Oz, also known as 762 South Calumet, Chesterton, Indiana. This museum is operated by Jean Nelson, an admitted Wizard of Oz buff. She's been one since she first saw the movie 25 years ago with her then young children. And it was such a beautiful movie and such a beautiful experience with the children that we made a regular yearly production of it. I mean, it was like planning a party. Now, I watch it with five grandkids. And it's the same reaction out of the five grandkids as it was my children. It just never changes. Love for the movie led to the startup of the Yellow Brick Road Store and Museum and membership in the International Wizard of Oz Club. How many Oz freaks do you think there are in the country? Thousands. How many do you think have been through your museum? Uh, we opened the museum a year ago, and I would guesstimate maybe six or eight hundred so far. One of the visitors was Wicked Witch Margaret Hamilton, who recently passed away. The Munchkins came too. Some are planning a return trip. Uh, September 14th, which is a Saturday, we'll have Mary Ellen and Parnell St. Alban here as guest of honor for our fourth Wizard of Oz day. And they are Munchkins, or yes, were Munchkins. Uh -huh. <laughs> return to Oz, a new movie made by Disney, began playing in theaters this week. So far, the reviews are mixed. But what about 46 years from now? Will the devotion be as strong? It's too soon to tell. Would you say at this point that you know that movie by heart? Yes, I think so. <laughs> what is it about that movie that attracted you and that attracts so many other people? Well, Margaret Hamilton, everyone always asked her that question, and they did when she was here. And her theory, I think, is the same as mine. Um, it's all basically home. There's no place like home. Reporting from Chesterton, Marta Watson, News Center 16. That's a great story. Isn't that so and, and I believe the museum in Chesterton is still operating. But oh, wow. You think about time here, okay? So they were saying it was 46 years in 1986. I know, I was doing the math. I was like, well, we're almost at that point now. 37. Yeah, you know, so. Yeah, so the question she asked, you know, what do you think it'll be like 46 years from now? Well, it's 37 years since they did that story. And, of course, the movie is as popular as ever. It's, yes, it's very, it's a, it's a timeless, it's a classic, but I'm still going for The Wiz. I love Diana Ross. Yeah, yeah, The Wiz, the modern adaptation. But you know what's interesting, too, is The Wizard of Oz in that year did not win the Academy Award for Best Picture. You know, it's interesting. It's never the, the ones the you think, would, I mean, well, hold on now. See, that's why it didn't win. It was, <laughs> exactly. they had stiff competition. Yeah, yeah, various, uh, two huge movies that came out. In the